Hi mga kapuyaters! Welcome back to my vlog. My name is Vaughn, ang kaagapan nyo sa Puyeta. Again, it's another episode of Learn Quickly with Me. And today, I'll be answering one of the questions in the comment sections of one of my videos. And please, mga kapuyaters, if you have questions or topics that you'd like me to discuss in my channel, don't hesitate to comment. Alright, so today we'll be answering how to be confident in going to an interview or answering the interview questions. Based on my experience, what I normally do is always remember the abbreviation NO. That's K-N-O-W. So if you're interested, please stick around. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you know anybody who's starting in the BPO or trying to get promoted, share this video for them or for me. Alright? So, again, remember the no abbreviation. Let's start with the K. That's know yourself. Both your strengths and opportunity. Why is it important? Going to an interview, you know that you will be selling yourself. While we already know that we have our own opportunities, it is important to know both opportunities and, and strength so you'll be able to highlight it well and tailor fit it to, always also remember, know the competencies that the company or the interviewer is looking for. So if you know the competencies they're looking for and you know your strength, for sure, you will know how to tailor fit your answer with the potential questions revolving around the competencies that they're looking for for the job or for the role. So again, K, know yourself. Next is N, never ever think that you will fail the interview because as soon as you start thinking that you will fail, then you will really fail. As what they say, what do you think? And what you believe will always happen. So, N, never ever think that you will fail. Next is O, observe punctuality, observe being ahead of time. An hour or 30 minutes before the interview, you should be there. Two reasons for me. First is, you don't want to think of anything else but the interview. Second is, you will have time to calm yourself and relax. Nervousness will always be there. What's important is being able to control them or control it. And there's no better way to do it but to relax, inhale, exhale, and release all the negative energy while you're sitting down if it's a face-to-face -face interview or be ready with your virtual tools if it's a virtual interview because you don't want to have any other distractions that will cause panic a few minutes before the interview. So, O, observe punctuality and observe being ahead of time. W, always know that all interviews are worth it. So, it's the worth of the interview either for your Employ, possible employer or the interviewer and for yourself. While we would like to aim to ace that interview, it is important that all interview it is important to understand that, that all interviews are worth it because whether you'll get it or not, you learn something out of it. And it will increase your confidence as you move forward to any additional interview or another job interview so again understand that interviews are always worth it whether you badly need the job now or you are just trying whether you want to push for an elevation for a promotion or you, you just want to experience it you'll always always learn something so it's always worth it Again, always remember the no abbreviation. Know yourself. Never think that you'll fail. Observe punctuality. And all interviews are worth it. 
okay? If you'll focus on the NO abbreviation, you'll never go wrong with your interview. And you'll have more confidence going there. It will also lessen your nervousness. All right. I hope that helps. Again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And always remember, if you're tired, take a break, but never quit. Have a good one.